welcome back to with uh, running with Dr. Andrew. Uh, today we're doing a uh, tempo run, one mile warm up, three 1.5 mile runs uh, at a tempo pace, and hoping to around 11 minutes uh, per minute and a half or mile and a half, um, and then a mile cool down. All right, see you guys on the run. All right, just got done with my one mile warm up. I've got three one. 0.5 mile tempo runs and I'll let you know what I got done on each of the run All right guys that concludes number one I did that in 12 minutes and eight seconds So I'm gonna try this one this one a little a little faster. All right Alright guys, that was number two. It was a little faster. I did 11.26. And it was about 7.37 at a minute pace. And so here you go, number three. Alright, welcome back. I just got back from a run. It was a seven mile run, a one mile warm up, and a 1.5 mile tempo run. And then each between each run, I did a 400 meter jog, and then I did a one mile cool down. And so I'm really preparing. I'm doing a little bit less mileage uh, this week, just because I'm doing the Heart of the Ozarks Half Marathon in West Plains, Missouri. I'm pretty excited. Been pretty excited to share that with everyone. So hopefully, I do break my personal record there. Last year, I did beat my personal record of 143 uh, 47, which is one hour 43 minutes and 47 seconds. Um, I got third in my age group, so that was pretty exciting. So hopefully I get below my uh, 143. That's what I'm going after. So if I don't get any placing in my age group, I'm okay with that as long as I get that 143. Even if I don't, I finish it. So I had fun. And it's going to be a really cold one, though. I think it's going to be cold throughout the United States. I think our low for Friday morning is like 10 degrees. It's, it's, it's really cold. I used to live in Alaska, and that's Alaska cold. And I did run in colder weather whenever I live there so this, this would be kind of um, trying to remember uh, how, how to run in cold <laughs> and um, so it should be should be fun so I'll definitely do some uh, video of this um, and uh, probably post it on Saturday or Sunday just to see what what the results are so in the comments please let me know uh, what what do you think my time will be for the West Plains half marathon my my personal best on that on that um, uh, race uh, last year is one hour and 43 minutes and 47 seconds and so I'm hoping to beat that and so let me know what do you think my personal record will be or what my time will be um, during this race uh, and um, we'll see what happens there too so uh, we'll keep going there and so, so there's a lot of questions people ask sometimes is what shoes I'll be wearing um, during the race, I'll be wearing my, um, my Hoka, um, One One Clifton sixes. And so I've had these since October and, uh, that's kind of what the bottom looks like. And I've had several miles on these. So these are about to get ready to retire. And, um, and so they're, they're good shoes. I've had Hoka's for a while, I've had three, three, three different pairs. Um, two of them were Hoka uh, One One Clifton fives, and this is the first six I've gotten here. And so, the only bad thing about this shoe uh, that I've noticed is that you, every shoe I've had, and uh, I grabbed the five. So this is what the five looks like. It's pretty similar, same color, and everything. One thing that I have issues with is is they do tear pretty quickly there. And so every one of them tears about in this the same area here. And also the midsole, it, it, it wears away pretty quickly. So you don't you don't you don't get as many mileage as maybe something that has a good midsole there. But a good shoe, get good cushion. Uh, it's a neutral shoe for me. And uh, I definitely enjoy these shoes here. So hopefully um, Hopefully that's the only thing I have a complaint about with those shoes. Just say they do tear, and uh, definitely, ho hopefully, and maybe in the future they will fix that issue. Maybe more people have had that problems. I'm not sure. So if you do wear Hoka's, 
especially the Clifton's. Clifton's, let me know on the comments that do you have issues with that shoe tearing? And so you can kind of see this is my new one right here. You can already see a hole starting already. Um, I've had these since October, and so I probably had about 400, 500 models on these. So quite quite a bit of mileage for the Hoka's, and. Um, I was hoping to get more mileage out of them before I got a new pair. And also what I do, I, I get these on eBay. They're pretty cheap. I think I got these for like $55 or so plus shipping. And they were basically brand new whenever I got them. And so, I, I, you know, I think that they were good. And so I didn't spend the, the large amount of money for them. So it's okay that they're torn. But definitely I would, I would have been a little bit more upset if I paid full price on them. Uh, and they tear but uh, uh, again and that's a good place to go find shoes I think is eBay I think there might be other places to get them but that's one of my favorite spots to check for them um, sometimes you, you just have to kind of look at the reviews and look at the wear on the shoe and they usually give good picture so I usually kind of look and go by what, what the picture looks like on the bottom of the midsole and uh, they go from there and they, they I, I bought this is my third pair off of eBay and all of them have looked brand new um, uh, since I bought them <clears throat> and so that's um, ends our video and so if you have any comments uh, please comment below and I'm excited to share everyone that uh, that race on Saturday and uh, uh, and also if you like this video please hit like and subscribe I definitely enjoy uh, doing these video videos hopefully they uh, I continue doing them I'm doing at least two two a week and we're doing our series on the common injuries so we'll continue to do that we'll do uh, do another one uh, sometime next week um, or sometime this week I might do some some taping so um, again if you um, like this video please hit like and subscribe keep safe keep running and we'll see you next time